Testing, testing, testing. How's it going? Hi. Can you see the floor now? Great. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> I know. I know. We're back with another newly reviewly. It is the end of February and this is my clothing rental for the month. I'm so glad I'm feeling better today. I haven't been up to it. You know, these, these, these newly reviewlies require a lot of energy. They require a lot of charisma and sometimes I simply don't have it. So let's hope I have a little bit today. I did just wash my hair. Thank you. Accomplishment. And I'm happy to update that since my last filming, yeah, we've made some progress on the bang grow out, the fringe growth. Looks like the, the bangs are starting to hang out behind the ears. That's not much of an update. Okay, let's get into it. First up, you have to see the movement of this skirt. My God, I'm not dizzy at all. Is she, is she a dancer? Is she a natural dancer? And I am indeed rocking the skirt with these little cow slippers that McKenna gave me recently. They actually go really well together, I will say. This is the tiered space dust maxi skirt from Anthropology. Retails for 160, newly priced is 70.39. I actually liked this skirt and wore it much more than I thought I would. As you'll see, this month I did go for a lot of skirts. I was like, you know what? Why don't I go for a lot of skirts? I'm so wild. No, but I think I was over the confinement of like jeans in the winter and I was like, what if? What if I wear skirts? You can wear them around the house, they're totally fine. But also I have some nice leggings and even some lined leggings that I can wear and then wear them outdoors. Did I invent this? Maybe. I really like this shirt, but my struggle is that my blonde hair just like is always all over it. But anyway, the skirt. So obviously it's this like spacey kind of witchy motif. I love the tears. They are very encouraging of movement. Um, the skirt flows in a really comfy way. The waist is incredibly stretchy. We know I love a stretchy waist. It's all I ever want. And I actually never wore this top with it, but I feel like it does look good. And yes, I did wear this a few times. I wore it, um, we had a snowstorm a couple weeks ago and I put on my lined leggings and I was nice and cozy. So I had this in my boots and I was prancing through the snow and it was very cute. I will, I will say I did. I spilled a drop of milkshake onto the skirt and I did try to wash that part, but now it's in Newly's hands, I'm afraid. As is the usual dilemma, I would be tempted to keep this, but $70 is not something I need to do. I just keep standing like this. Now I'm like, I didn't appreciate the skirt enough while I had it. All right, let's continue. Another skirt, who would have thought? This is the Handkerchief A-Line Midi Skirt from Anthropology. Retails for 120, newly priced is 82.80. And I recognize the name and I just remembered that I did in fact rent this skirt in a different color. Years ago, I rented the green one, which I actually love. I actually love that. Bring it back. So I thought I would try the black because obviously it's a little easier to pair with other things. I don't wear a lot of black, so this whole this whole outfit is a bit much for me. I could definitely lighten it up by wearing a lighter top or something with a pattern even. Just imagine I go on the like cow print trend like years late and I'm like, what about a little cow print vest? That would actually be adorable, thank you. McKenna got me these slippers because I guess she had a similar pair and she thought I would like them. Thank you very much, very sweet. But also it's a little homage to her mother who when we were in middle school, we would like go through her mom's clothes <laughs> or like there was like a basket of things that like her mom didn't wear anymore and we would like wear them as costumes or whatever. Just plain dress up, just girly things. And she had this iconic platform sandal with a cow print. And at the time we were like, oh my God, this is so weird. This is so funny, haha, -ha, the cow shoes. But now, and especially when the cow stuff was very trendy recently, I was like, those shoes, nobody would even understand. Nobody could understand how incredible those shoes are. And I'm like, where are they now? They were nothing like these slippers, like obviously. <laughs> these, these are silly, goofy cartoon slippers, right? But those cow shoes, platform sandal, are you kidding? Anyway, I do like the skirt and sadly I just realized that I did not wear it. Does it have pockets? It does. There's no way, does it have one pocket? No, <laughs> it's just twisted. It does in fact have two pockets and uh, it is really comfy. It's a lot more, um, almost more of like a satiny feel. So it's 
cooler and I imagine it would not be very good at keeping me warm if I wanted to wear it on a cold day maybe put some leggings and that, whatever, under it but again I mean for me nothing beats the movement of like this kind of length like when I try to wear something that's a midi it's usually more of a maxi on me but I'm like all right cool I'm just obsessed with long skirts and long dresses tis the season and I guess I've never really tried to wear skirts much throughout winter <laughs> and here I am being different trying something new for myself at least I, I'm sad about this <laughs> and I can't stop circling I don't know about this pairing so stick with me okay mmm this is probably one that would benefit from my crop tuck crop tuck about to work its magic not spawn actually it's a very good use for it. I'm happy. Okay, so this sweater is like a little half moon, almost a yin and yang inspired situation. I don't know. And did I in fact wear it with this skirt once, which was absolutely too much and I knew it, but I did. M maybe just to run some errands, it's fine. This sweater, um, it's soft, it's not itchy. It has these like fitted wrists. Got a little bit of a puff kind of sleeve effect. I don't know if I was massively drawn to it when I was picking my new Lee, but again, I started out with like seven skirts in my cart and I was like, you have to pick something else. So I was like, okay, fine, one sweater, one. This is the half and half knit sweater from Flat White. Retails for 80, newly prices 35.19. Again, it's like, I can't wait for all my blonde to be grown out because like, I just keep seeing it on dark shirts and I'm sick of it. <laughs> but I, I don't think I'm ready to just like chop my hair yet, so I'm gonna continue the growth and then, uh, and then we'll see. Overall, not much to say about the sweater. It's fine, it's acceptable. I wore it a few times. Every time I have a so-so newly, I'm like, this is only my fault. It takes me hours to pick my newly every time because I like to like read the reviews, make sure like I'm guessing right on sizing, which actually I'm very impressed with my skill to do that because like, especially with pants and bottoms, I could so easily pick completely the wrong sizes every time. But thank you reviewers. I need to leave more reviews, but I, I do whole newly review leads. You're just gonna have to watch those. Anyway, one thing I will say, I'll turn around. This skirt, the other one, perfectly stretchy waistband. This one, a little bit tight. So maybe that's a me thing I could have sized up perhaps, but it's just not quite as stretchy as the other. Keep that in mind. Oh, ignore the bra. <laughs> I can only do so much. I need a wardrobe assistant. And by that, I mean Nathan. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. One question. What was I going for here? And yes, there are also pockets on this. Okay. We got a little slit. We got a little, <laughs> I can't let my leg out. See that? It's a good amount of fabric. Now I'm wondering if I should have sized down. Maybe that would have helped because it does feel nice and stretchy. This is the Oasis printed midi dress from Free People. Retails for 168, newly priced is 87.36. Free people, I know, I know, based on all of my newly experience that free people can be so interesting with their sizing and fit. Like so many things tend to be oversized, so it's a great idea to size down. So maybe I should have sized down. Why am I so baffled? Why am I acting like this is the most perplexing thing I've ever experienced? Okay, it's not even really that bad. I will say um, it is a lot of fabric, so this is pretty good for like a chilly fall or winter dress. I don't know what sort of occasion I would have worn this to. Spoiler, I, I did not wear this dress, which feels sad because like it could have been a, a house dress because most of what I do is in house, you see. I also don't like my mirror standing next to me right now and it um, is tilted. I usually like to lean it against my wall so that it's more straight up. But when my mirror is tilted like this, it also messes with my proportions. And I'm like, tell me honestly, what's going on here? Let me see. <laughs> Bring ye old mirror over. I don't know if it's worse. <laughs> well, I'll be. I feel like it has some, some milkmaid action. There is just a lot of extra fabric. Like I feel like, I actually feel like these ruffles at the top are worse. Same with this little tie, like it's too much going on. I think if it was just a simple little stretchy ruched bust here, it would have been better. Free people, take notes. <laughs> the sleeves are okay. Maybe a smidge long on me, or perhaps they go bunched up like that, okay? And then the actual skirt, it does have multiple layers, I can feel, plus the pockets. So that's a little bit more extra fabric. And it definitely does like give me hips that I don't have which is good. So yeah, it tends to land like, 
you know, and it all contributes to the, you know, <laughs> I'm trying. Um, I think it's safe to say it's a miss for me, but I always get some very kind commenters who say, no, I loved that on you, which is so funny because I bet now that I say it, all the comments are going to be like, no, I agree. It wasn't, it wasn't good actually. And that's fair. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a nice dress, but it's not my dress. Okay. Take it or leave it. Return it to the UPS store. That's all. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. The shirt might be a weird choice, but I, I don't know what to pair. The item from Newly is the skirt. And yes, I, I realized I don't know what to pair with it. Cause like the white in the skirt is not actually like a white white. It's not stark. It's more of like a, a slightly more cream, a little more off white. And I don't think I have any off white shirts. Otherwise I would kind of go with that. Um, so here's one of my new thread up picks. But now this feels very, very monochromatic in a way that's almost disturbing to me. And I don't know why. Maybe it's this particular shade on me. It's like a little too much. It even goes down to the little cow nose. It's all intentional, okay? But anyway, aside from the shirt, I do think this skirt is fine. I wore it a couple times. I enjoyed it. It's not my favorite style. Like all the little frills here, um, I don't love but it was fine enough to wear. And yes, this, this skirt has pockets as well. I love, I love, I love, I love, let me start over. I love how the whole it has pockets statement obsession became a thing. Like I, I do feel like that's a very millennial thing. It was, it was an era. It was recent. It doesn't feel that long ago. It could have been anywhere between the last two to 10 years. But Gen Zers out there, let me know if it has pockets. Sounds a little too millennial. There was an era of time where women were having the conversations of like, why are women's jeans pockets, especially in the early 2000s, early 2010s, why are our pockets this big? And so then we'd wear other things. If you don't have pockets, you're like, well, what, where am I gonna put all my items? Where am I gonna put my hands? So that's why we would say it has pockets. Am I a cultural anthropologist? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, as I caught myself saying that literally every single time throughout this video, I just had to point out how <laughs> it's almost like a spirit had overtaken me. I didn't sign up to be obsessed with pockets. I do enjoy them. Do I delight in them? Not necessarily. And sometimes I'd even say the pockets are not necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Is that just me going against the trend? going against the grain. Should we remove all the pockets again? There has to be a middle ground, but I will say, you know what? I like chilling with my hands in my pockets and especially in the winter, if I were wearing this again with some little fuzzy leggings or tights, I appreciate being able to hide my hands away from the brisk winds. You know, no, no, no. Okay, I think the combination of this outfit with this shirt, this feels a little schoolhouse teacher. It feels like I tried to do a modern house on the prairie. And like the skirt kind of works. The, the, the slippers, a little on the nose. Like we get it, you're, you're rural, you're living in the West. Might I recommend some boots? I don't know. But then the shirt, cause it has a collar naturally gives academia, you know? <laughs> This video is entirely bullshit in case I haven't already warned you. So don't go citing me in your journals, okay? I'm just an amateur. Now I feel like I'm too self-aware and I'm being annoying and I don't know how to be, I don't know how to be myself again. Classic. I was gonna say, I'm gonna think about what I said um, in this conversation over and over and wish I could change it, but this is a video and I will be able to literally hear what I said and I will be able to cut it out if it's too annoying. Okay. <laughs> I really hope to God that this video has been in focus the whole time. Cause if it hasn't, you're listening to an audio only version of a newly revealy, okay? Cause this stuff is going to the UPS store in about 15 minutes. Now this combination, am I crying because of what I've done here? Yes. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't even tell you what the skirt was. The skirt is the Rena Ruffle skirt from Damson Matter. Retail price is 122, newly price is 92.72. And then this, this sweater that I just added, this is the Lada Knit Cardigan from Lisa Says Ga. Retails for 148, newly prices 106.56. Lisa Says Ga, every freaking time. I think I have loved every Lisa Says Ga piece that I've gotten from Newly. I don't think I own any. I would like to, but again, it's, it's pricey. It's pricey, even the, the rent to buy price. So maybe I should just check out the online marketplaces. We'll see. 
Um, but here's the struggle. I really enjoy this sweater. The sweater is really comfy and it's very cute, obviously. Look at it. I love the little fruity motifs. I love the mustard. But then I looked in my closet and I was like, what tops do I have that work well under this sweater? And I'll say right off the bat, this bright ass yellow one <laughs> does not. But I don't know what to wear. I wish you could help me in real time. Cause I'm like, again, I feel like it requires like not a stark white. It requires more of a cream, but then is that a little too matchy matchy? I feel like nothing's the right like level of warmth. It needs to match in that kind of way. The temperature, if you will. I always get mad at myself when I'm editing these when I don't put enough effort into making the outfits actually look half decent because then I'm watching it and editing and I'm like, I made this outfit look so much worse than it, way worse than it needed to be, you know? Like, I did not represent this piece in a good way. Okay, I'm gonna go with something a little crazy, an absolutely wild choice, okay? I actually think this might work well. We have a Haley Blay Be Your Own Muse merch, has some of the similar colors, as the sweater, oh my, oh my. Is it too much? Maybe, but I feel like it somehow works the, with the skirt too, you know? Like this, this is a cute, this is a teacher outfit. This is like, I work out of school, I'm just trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to wear things that fit the dress code. It's comfy, you know, say, so, hey, that's not how you do fractions, can't help you. Just kidding. I'll give teachers much more grace than that. Um, there's an apostrophe in that, <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, I actually like this together. That's cute. I feel like it works. I definitely wore this sweater a number of times. I tried to reach for it more often, but again, I struggled with finding something that looked good with it. And please give me your suggestions on what you would wear with this because like there's a lot of colors in it. So it gives you like potential, but I don't, I don't own anything like this bright red. I don't think I have any shirts that are like this exact mustardy color so i literally like can't see in the viewfinder if this merch shirt looks good or if it looks like too much but we like being too much i'm okay with that and yeah like the the t-shirt tucked into the skirt i feel like that's just a cute casual thing too and as usual star of the show the slippers these are a very comfy choice all right i guess that is all i've got to pack this stuff up again ignoring the piles of clothing on my floor gonna go return this one not buying anything this time and that's totally fine i'm gonna go run some other errands gosh is it fun <laughs> isn't it so fun do you ever think about how much of your time is spent researching buying something and then being like oh i have to return that or it can be the smallest thing like the other day nathan had to pick up some fruit for like a work meeting and he has a work card but he forgot to use it and he got in the car and he's like oh no i threw away the receipt and i didn't use my work card and it was like 40 dollars worth of fruit so he's like ah i don't want to eat that cost and i was like all right i'll go into the store for you and switch it out <laughs> and i went in i talked to customer service it's like this young guy i told him my husband paid for it on this other card i need to return it and then pay for it with this card you know <laughs> So we do that, he gives me like store credit on our personal card, and then I pay with the business card. And I'm like, okay, cool, putting stuff back in my purse, about to grab it. He grabs the fruit from me, walks it back to a, a fridge behind him, and then comes back up and I was like, oh. I was like, I just bought that fruit. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, I, like, I, was, I was changing the card, but I wanted to still buy it. And he's like, uh-huh. And I was like, I paid for the fruit and I'm taking it. <laughs> and it was so, I literally was laughing as I said it. Um, Cause you could tell he was just like going through the motions and he, it dawned on him and he's like, oh my God, sorry. Goes and grabs it and he's like, so, so sorry. There you go. And I was like, all good. But I was laughing cause I was like, what if I <laughs> bought it, <laughs> forgot, walked out, get back to the car. I'm like, Nathan, here you go. Here's the receipt. And he's like, where's the fruit? And I'm like, oh shit. So anyway, I think about things like that a lot because like that was a fine little thing. It only took like five more minutes of our time. But yeah, a lot of times I'm like, I like to spend a lot of time researching something before I buy it. But then if you ever have to return something or change the size or it's just not right, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, this is a big part of consumerism as well. Like, of course, the, the waste of returns and all that stuff is a huge portion of it. But like, yeah, like our time, the time that it, we're spending to buy and then not even keep the things or the time it takes to clean out your closet and stuff because you bought too many things, you don't use them, and then you gotta get rid of it. It's like, there's just so much labor involved in um, consumption, so. <sighs> but anyway, I'll see you guys next month for another Newly Review Lee where I try on clothes 
I rent them, I wear them for a little bit, and then I say, okay, let's do that again. Okay, I do need to hurry though. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, it's like ending a phone call. Love you, love you. Okay, love you. Okay, love you, bye. And then you snap the flip phone shut. Okay, thanks, bye.